Hi, I'm Dr. Tom. I'm a medical consultant to a different kind of better. And in discussions with Lynn, we've decided that it may be helpful to um, approach with a few little instructional uh, videos, some about fear, some about other types of emotion that are being generated in the, in the public realm these days. And so today, fear is the topic. And we all have heard the, the uh, acronym. Um, fear is actually false evidence appearing real. And that's a little bit old, but two new uh, acronyms or expressions would be forget everything and run. And that's how fear often uh, places us into a part of uh, panic and into a place of I have no control, I have nothing to do, and I'm, I'm, I need to be out of here, but I can't leave, I can't, I can't escape. The other more positive aspect of the word fear is face everything and rise up, rise up and, and use the skills and talents that you have forgotten to draw on. And just to use some, an example, uh, I would like to share personal experience that I've gone through in the past number of months time where my longest time uh, secretary and office manager has developed a serious illness requiring two bouts of surgery. Each, each surgery was three hours long. We didn't know whether she was going to survive either one of those surgeries, but it came to a point in time that um, the fear uh, would come and the fear would go and eventually when she was taken into palliative care, um, nothing to do as I was not her physician, but nothing for me to do except to be there with my own fear of, of, doing, of not doing the right things, not saying the right things. And um, um, it was a learning once again for me. Uh, it was very similar to, um, watching her dying uh, day after day after day. And despite how many hours I would spend there, uh, family, um, she still needed to have me present. And I had learned that all that I had to do was be present and not let the fear overtake me and not let her uh, experience the fear of being abandoned or being left alone onto her own. The experience was similar to being in a bucket, lower down into a well 20, 20 feet below the surface. Not The bucket would not go directly into the water, but it would leave myself in the bucket uh, 20 to 30 feet below ground level with just a little bit of light from above. Um, that was terrorizing and that was uh, there was no getting away and no way of leaving the situation and running. There had to be a way to use my experience and, and stay centered. And if I use this um, example, the bucket can come out of the well, bringing the person out of the well, because there's five different ropes attached to the bucket. And and um, if those ropes are cranked on a, um, from the top, then those are able to secure uh, some peace and some confidence. One of the ropes would be called faith. There was faith and belief that what would happen would happen and that I would be able to do and respond intuitively to what was needed. There was hope and we never let go of hope that she would be able to have her mind clear and that she would drift off into, into a deep sleep despite all of the emotion from family and, and my own emotions of intense sadness and grief. There was something called trust, trust in the process. It was not just myself going through this. I had to be strong for all the other people but I relied on the sense of trust in my intuition and trust in meditation and, and prayer that allowed me to stay there and not flee. Another rope that was there was courage. And that aspect was to encourage each person around to be there. And that was all that was needed. 
And that's all that was needed of me is to be there with gratitude for having the chance to be there and to attend to her uh, needs in the best way that I could. And to, of course, remember the love that we could direct and remember that people have loved me and cared for me in some special ways. And so I remembered episodes in my life where there was faith and hope and trust and courage of gratitude and love. And so I offer these solutions for you, in a sense, to deal with your fear that you simply face everything and rise up with courage and remember who has supported you and how they've supported you and how you found your way to this particular point in life. You have never been alone and, and you will make it. So I offer this to you and to give you some peace and confidence. And there is, um, for certain, there's a different kind of better. Thank you.